Let's bring out our next guest here, a young lady who awaits patiently to sing a song for you. Would you please welcome Miss Melba Montgomery? show. Nice Good to see you. Bye. Come over and have a seat, if you will, please. How have you been? Just fine. It's great to be back once again. What's going on in your life? <laughs> well, just working the road, and I'm doing a lot of songwriting now. I'm back to writing songs like I did when I kind of first got in the business. We're enjoying that and doing a lot of co-writing with a lot of the folks in town, a lot of the writers, some of the older writers, I don't say, oh, older writers, but some have been around a little while, Red Lane, we've been doing a lot of writing with Red, and a lot of the newer writers, too, like Costas and Kathy Lubin and uh, <laughs> Kent Westberg. Of course, Kent's been written a lot of hits, but we've written a lot here lately with Kent. And you got a tattoo? Me? <laughs> if I did, I ain't showing it all day. <laughs> <laughs> Melba, are, your, uh, are these little girls that played with our band accompanying you, are they your girls? They sure are. They sure are. Jackie uh, playing piano over there, and uh, Melissa's playing guitar. You yeah. used to be with Roy Acuff and the Smoky Mountain Boys, didn't you? Yeah, I was just a kid back then, Ralph. <laughs> you ever made, I know you've made records with Gene Pitney, George Jones, Charlie Leuven. Yeah. Did you ever make a record with Mr. Roy Acuff? Yeah, I recorded one, uh, uh, well, it's actually a trio with Oz and Roy, and I, when I first got in the business and uh, was started working with Roy around 1960, I believe it was. Yeah, we did a, a trio thing, and I can't remember what it did. What, it's been so long, it was on Hickory Records. How did you get your job yeah. with Roy Acuff? Uh, I came to Nashville uh, in one of the uh, pet milk contests and uh, was one of the finalists with uh, my brother and uh, 
friend of ours, my brother Carl and Earl Green, a friend of ours, and we had a little trio, and uh, we won it uh, in our local area. They chose like six from uh, all over the country, and we were uh, from uh, from Florence. Well, I saw you uh, when you appeared in that contest. Did that lead directly to uh, a job with Roy Acuff? It did. He, he needed an extra girl singer to go overseas on a two-month USO tour. And so that was my first big major job. And of course, I was just a green kid, scared to death. But uh, it was he was like a father to me and was wonderful. And we enjoyed the tour over there with all the fellas and some a uh, couple other girls, June Webb and uh, another girl was on the That's show. That's the contest, the famous contest, where Johnny Tillotson finished second. Johnny was in the same and contest. And Margie Bowes won it. She won it, and we came in third. <laughs> so. We had, uh, Johnny and I have laughed about that since then, but uh, we we enjoyed that. I enjoyed coming to Nashville, meeting all the people then, and uh, getting being in, uh, being in the business back in Excuse me. those days. I have to go to the break. Okay. <laughs> we'll take a break, and then we're going to show you some Carolina cloggers. We'll be right back. <laughs> There's more Nashville now on the way. Music here again is Melba Montgomery. It sure gets lonely. 